Hi everyone, welcome to educational video and basic calculus. Now let's talk about the illustrating the limit of the function theorems. Now let's have a short review about the nine theorems that we have in the limit of a function. So we have the theorem 1, the limit of a constant is itself. If k is any constant, then the limit of a function k as x approaches to c is equals to k. We also have the theorem 2, the limit of x as x approaches c is equals to c. This may be thought of as the substitution law because x is simply by substituted by c. So we have the theorem 3. The constant multiple theorem so the limit of k times the function of x as x approaches to c is equals to k times the limit of the function of x as x approaches to c is equals to k times l we also have the theorem for the sum and difference theorem so the theorem for the limit of a function of x plus the g of x as x approaches to c is equal to the limit of the function of x plus the limit of a function of g of x as x approaches to c is equal to l plus m. We have also the theorem 5, the multiplication theorem. So the limit of a function times g of x as x approaches to c is equals to the limit of a function of f of x as x approaches to c times the limit of a function of g of x as x approaches to c is equals to l times n. We also have the theorem 6. It's called the division theorem. The theorem 7 called the power theorem. And the theorem 8 called the radical or root theorem. And last but definitely not the least, we have the theorem 9, which is called the limit of a polynomial function, which the limit of p of x as x approaches to c is equals to p of a. So now let's have applied the nine theorems in the five examples here. So watch and learn and I'm hoping that you will enjoy this video and you learn something. So here are the given for the following limits. So the limit of a function of f of x as x approaches to a is equals to 5 then the limit of a function of g of x as x approaches to a is equals to negative 3 and the limit of a function of h of x as x approaches to a is equals to negative 2 so we have number one the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equals to 3 of f of x plus g of x all over h of x all we need to do is to substitute the values that given to all the x's that you will see. So for the value of f of x, we have 5. So let's substitute the 5 to the f of x in the equation. So now we have 3 times 5 plus negative 3 all over the value of h of x negative 2 so we will get 15 plus negative 3 all over negative 2 S then we will get 12 all over negative 2 and to simplify that we will get negative 6 so let's move forward to example number 2 for number 2, the limit of 2 times f of x times g of x plus 4 all over f of x plus h of x as x approaches to a. First, we need to substitute the value of the function so that 
would be 2 times the limit of 5 as x approaches to a times the limit of negative 3 as x approaches to a all over the limit of 5 as x approaches to a plus the limit of negative 2 as x approaches to a. Next, using the theorem number 1 where the limit is constant itself, simplify 2 times negative 15. 2 times negative 15 is equal to negative 30 plus positive 4 over 3. Negative 30 plus positive 4 all over 3 is equal to negative 26 all over 3. And now, the answer will be negative 26 all over 3 or negative 8.67. And for number 4, the limit of a function of f of x as x approaches to a is equals to negative 2 times f of x plus 4 times g of x all over f of x times h of x. All we need to do is to substitute all the values of the limits in all the x's. So, the value of fx is 5. Let's substitute the 5 to the fx in the equation. So, negative 2 times 5 plus 4, the value of g of x, negative 3, all over 5 plus negative 2. Now, we will simplify the equation. We will get negative 10 plus negative 12 all over negative 10. Then, we will get negative 22 all over negative 10. And for the final answer, we will get the 2.2. The Therefore, the limit of a And last number, the number 5. So, the limit of the function of f of x as x approaches to a is equals root of negative 3 times f of x times g of x all over h of x. Like the other example, you just need to substitute all the value of the limits in the equation. So, we will get the root of negative 3 times f of x which is 5 plus g of x which is negative 3 all over h of x which is negative 2 so we will get the root of negative 3 times negative 15 all over negative 2 then we will get square root of 45 all over negative 2 and we will get the answer of 6.7 all over negative 2 or 3.35.